Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How is your day today? I hope it's good. I hope everything is good for you. Um, here, oh, I don't have my accent lights on. Huh. Here, uh, I'm, I'm not having a good day. It's been a pretty bad day. I've been not feeling great. Uh, I didn't sleep good last night. I had lots of weird dreams and bad thoughts and not, not enjoying myself. And then today was just, it's rough. And I don't know why. Uh, I wish I did. I could fix it. But um, I know that I'm not alone when it happens like that. You know, everybody has bad days. So uh, I tend to just try to push through it. Like, just do what I have to do because it doesn't matter if I have a good day or a bad day. Um, it's still a day and I have to do something, right? So it's been tough. Hopefully I won't be alone all weekend. Um, I have a feeling I will be alone all weekend, but... I'd like to at least make an effort to kind of get out and do some stuff. So we'll see. I did get to spend some time down here tonight um, and do make a few things that uh, I, I didn't film, of course. I have a patch upstairs that I need to put in the floor, so I'm finally getting around to fixing that. But, uh, yeah, I told you yesterday I would show you the other tools that were in the box. Uh, and, oh, and to compound the fact that this is a bad day, uh, I had to, I have to reshoot this. This is starting over. So the contents of the box are all spilled out on the table because I already did the unboxing. <sighs> I don't know what happened. Got upstairs and the, um, the file was corrupted. So anyway, one of the other things I had in that box was a Japanese handsaw. Uh, I've never used a pole saw. For those of you who don't know, most American or I guess imperial saws are, they cut when you push. So they have to be kind of thick blades or they have to have a reinforcement um, because otherwise the blade buckles. This is a Japanese style saw which works on a pull stroke. Uh, it has two sides, so like a super sharp tooth and a finer, less fine tooth, I guess. And this is a, uh, I don't know how to say this, Gyokucho? Gyokucho? Um, very, very well rated saw. I know lots of people use this particular brand of saw, and they're really inexpensive. I think this was like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. So that's good. Um, using this will be interesting. I haven't used hand saws in a very long time, other than like flush trim saws and uh, hack saws. But I am interested in trying some kind of hand joinery techniques, so I thought I would get one of these and give it a shot before I spend money on expensive souls. We'll see. Uh, the other thing that I purchased is kind of, um, I would consider it a throwaway tool. Bit of a, bit of a uh, expense that I don't need to make, but I'm gonna do it to make my life easier. And that is this air sprayer. This is a Rex Betty professional quality air sprayer and again the box is empty because i already filmed this once but uh this is a electric sprayer sprays paint um i don't the reason i say this is a throwaway purchase is because i don't really need it um i have an air compressor i have lots of spray guns if i want to spray some finish or some some you know paint on a project i have that but i have a project this year that this will benefit, I'll benefit, I think, hopefully, from using this, and that is that my, my front deck and my porch desperately need a coat of stain. Um, so these are inexpensive enough. I want to say this was 60 bucks that I thought I'd give it a shot, and who knows? Maybe it'll surprise me, and maybe it'll work out really well. I'm not saying that I believe that, but we'll see. Um, first glance, it seems to be okay. It's ABS plastic, has some rubberized handles, the motor feels pretty hefty in there, so I'm sure it's going to put out lots of air. Um, the front half has a 36-ish, 35-ounce um, jug. It comes with a spare cap in case you want to stop painting for the day, but there's still paint in your jug. Um, I haven't actually gone to figure out how this thing clicks together yet, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything dramatically difficult. Uh, 
looks like maybe it just does that. And then, yep, there we go. Um, this is the trigger and the the volume control is just this little stopper here that hits on this back wall. Uh, this all feels really chintzy. This whole front assembly feels like it's um, not up for the job, so we'll see how that works out. But ultimately, it's weighted uh, heavy on the back end, so I feel like once this is full of paint, it'll be fairly comfortable to hold flat, and I'll be able to put some, probably some semi-solid stain is what I plan on spraying. Uh, the reason that I didn't want to buy like a commercial uh, or a, a, you know an industrial grade or professional quality sprayer is they're you know hundreds of dollars and it's again I don't need it I don't do house painting I don't do large projects that I can't paint with my compressor so having um, an air sprayer like this is kind of just a luxury for this one particular job because rolling a fence it sucks. Um, this way I can cover the fence pretty quickly and get that job over with. Um, so I figured if nothing else, it's a throwaway tool for that job. It comes with, um, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming this is supposed to be some sort of funnel. I don't know. I haven't read the book. Um, it comes with some extra nozzles in different sizes. So that's nice. It comes with a, you know, cleaning brush and a nozzle tip thing which is extremely sharp so that's good I mean it's like literally hypodermic needle sharp uh, I have no clue what this thing is it comes with that maybe I don't I don't know what that does and then an extra filter for I'm assuming the back here I don't know but it seems okay for 60 bucks I'll give it a shot um, if all else fails it, it was uh, it saved me a little bit of time for a job and that's really all I want it for so we'll see what happens. Um, nothing else. I don't think I ordered anything else. I got some paint filters back there, but that's just because I needed to restock on those. And I have no other tools in mind for purchase anytime soon. The biscuit joiner was the one, the last kind of big expense tool that I really wanted to own. Um, any other tool that I've wanted to own is just little hand tool type stuff. So nothing, nothing in the hundreds of dollars range. So that's good. But yeah, yeah. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you uh, get to spend some time with your family over the Easter break if you celebrate that sort of thing. Um, I hope my night ends up being okay. I'm going to go maybe just try to fall asleep and see if I can't just wake up tomorrow and feel better. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, being wonderful people. I appreciate you very much, and I will see you on Monday. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from fcwa.org. What percentage of Earth's water is drinkable? 2% of the water on Earth is glacier ice at the North and South Poles. This ice is fresh water and could be melted. However, it is too far away from where people live to be usable. Less than 1% of all water on the earth is fresh water that we can actually use.